His smooth voice and laid-back appeal have helped this former skater bring his working-class lyrics to the masses. Hi, my name is Stephanie and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we're speaking with Matt Costa. Can you tell me how you originally got interested in music and how you came to follow it as your path? I got into music at a young age. You know, I always just, every time I was around an instrument or even anything that made noise, I was always just trying to pick out melodies. And I think melodies are the thing that came to me first before anything. I met a Monday morning, a Monday evening, I have found. So it just kind of developed, you know, over time and I started messing around with more instruments, a little bit of piano, trumpet and things. My parents were pretty supportive, even when it didn't sound the best around the house, you know. My uncle eventually turned me on to a bunch of music from the past and kind of bridged that gap for me and things that I would normally not have gotten turned on to. And a lot of that stuff spoke to me. And, so that's kind of what I always tried to write songs to emulate those uh, those songs that were from the 40s and 60s and 70s. And stuff. I know that you were also into skateboarding. I was wondering if you could talk to me a bit about the link between skateboarding and music. You know, all skate videos and stuff have music that go to every part. That got me turned on to bands that I don't think I would have normally heard about. Across the board, different things. You know, when it's in videos and stuff too, someone that you idolize for their skateboarding, you kind of subconsciously like the song. And so when you're like in your car or whatever, you put on songs that are in those videos and, you know, next thing I knew I was listening to music and, you know, I wasn't even thinking about the skateboarders anymore, I was just thinking about the song and got turned on to that stuff. So that was another big influence on how I got turned on to music. And also watching music with movement, you know, is plays a big key. Oh Mr. Pitt, oh Mr. Pitt, Mr. Pitiful, who let you down? Music and motion go hand in hand. So visually I guess I'm always seeing that. And sometimes when I have a hard time when I don't feel the groove of a song or something, then I just imagine movement to it and you kind of slide back into it. collaborated with Jack Johnson. I was wondering if you could tell me a bit more about your relationship and how you guys challenge each other musically. Well, Jack's a good surfer, so he, he's always challenged. I've gone out surfing with him, and I, like I said, I grew up skating, but I'm terrible in the water, so that he can school me, like riding his board backwards and doing circles around me and stuff. Emmett Malloy and him, had, they started doing surf films and putting his music into film, surf films, and that's kind of how he got his start. And um, They wanted to use one of my songs in their surf film called The Broke Down Melody. And that was as I was recording my first EP, which was a long time ago, in 2003 or so. When I was done recording the record I was working on, it was around the same time they put out that film. And uh, he had just finished another record called In Between Dreams. And so he asked me if I wanted to come out and support him on that record. So I did. And then during that time, he asked me if I wanted to put my record out on Brushfire Records, which is their record label. So I, uh, I liked all the, the way that they worked and it was a real family. and everything they did with giving back to charities and things like that. I um, mean, everything being earth friendly and things like that. I feel like being a musician, in order to be you know, a great musician or things like that, you have to focus on music a lot. So that the best way that you can give back is to have the music give back. So that was, that was really an important thing for me and I was glad that I could do that. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thanks for having me. Still be my friend.